this is the last in the series of the uh, example demonstrations. Uh, in this particular problem, we're going to add a surge tank uh, downstream from the pump. Uh, as you recall, in the last example, uh, we had the pump shutting down in a two-second shutdown starting at one second to three, which produced a fairly severe transient. Uh, so we can add a surge control device. The way we did that, we just went in and added an intermediate node and then selected the node and added in, if we look at the data here, uh, we can add in a surge control device and all these devices are available. An open surge tank, one-way surge tank which allows flow into the system. This is a closed surge tank. There's a bladder tank, pressure relief valve, rupture disc, surge anticipation valve, and air vacuum valves, one, two stage or three stage. So in this case we have a closed surge tank. Now, the data that goes with the surge tank, each device has its own data. We have always have an inflow and outflow resistance, and the resistance is based on the connection characteristics. Uh, we can use our tools up here to help us, uh, or to ha calculate the resistance, but the point one would indicate there's about a one-tenth of a foot head drop for one cubic foot per second of flow. Now there's also additional data here for the surge tank. Uh, and as we cycle through here, we'll see that there's a four-foot diameter tank. It's about 10 feet high with initially five feet of water in it. The volume of gas is around 60 uh, cubic feet. And the expansion constant, which should be between 1 and 1 1.4, is 1 1.2. So that's the data that's required. So now we run the analysis and we start looking at the results. And uh, we'll go back and look at the results where we were before. So I'm going to uh, select this node up here and just turn on the results and we'll look at this in full screen and we'll see that the pressure uh, has dropped from 50 down to about 40 and now it's leveling off at around 50 so the transient is is a much lower transient than we had with the uh, uh, without this surge control device so we've been able to eliminate the uh, negative pressures and the cavitation in the system by uh, the use of this uh, closed surge tank. So there's a lot of different choices and, and adding in the surge control uh, is a pretty straightforward process of just putting a node in at the location that you want the surge control and then selecting the type of surge control element and providing the required data.